In this tutorial, we're going to make a grungy wallpaper or a piece of photo art, whatever you want to use it for. Our starting image can be pretty much anything you want, but I'm using a picture of this challenger that I took. Now, the first thing you need to do is clean up your image, adjust the exposure or anything, or clone any trees out, whatever you need to do to make your images looking pretty good. I'm just going to crop this here. And I'll start by going up to Enhance, and then Unsharp Mask. And I've already got the settings pre-adjusted, but make it look something like this. Click OK. And there we go. You see it's rendered our Unsharp Mask. The next thing we're going to do is go up to Layer, and then New Fill Layer, and then Pattern. Click OK. And for a pattern, you can use pretty much any of them. You can even make your own. Like, I've got some down here that I've made. But uh, the ones that are included with Photoshop seem to work pretty well. And I'm just going to change the blend mode of this pattern to overlay. And also, I'm going to play with the layer mask. So I take the pattern away from the car here. So I'll go up to brush paint around the car. Make sure your uh, foreground color is black. There we go. So the next thing we're going to do is make our foreground and background colors black and a light blue. And we're going to make a new layer. Crit, press, command on Mac, control on the PC, and then delete. Oops, we've got our uh, colors flipped. Man on a Mac, Control on a PC, and Delete. Now I'm going to go up to Filter, Render, and then uh, Difference Clouds. And it's made um, an orange color. I'm also going to change this blend mode to Overlay or Soft Light, one of those. And I'm going to move it uh, below the pattern fill. Next, I'm going to keep my colors, white and blue. I'm going to go to Filter, Render and then just clouds. Oh, you need to make a new layer and fill it with blue. Filter, render, clouds. And let's make some clouds. I'm going to change this to overlay as well. And there we go. You see, we've got the sort of effect as in the original. The next thing we need to do is enlarge the car. So I'm going to click the car, make a new layer above it, and just select it using whatever selection tool you want. It doesn't matter here if you get a really good selection or not, you won't really see much anyway. So just get the hood, and then I'm going to press Command on the Mac, Control on the PC, and then C. Go to my new layer, do the same thing, but instead of C, press V. This will paste it into the layer. Now I'm going to resize it. And you can see that it makes it look like we've made our challenger a lot bigger. And you can play around with the selection, clean it up a bit, because this is really rough. You can see around the back, it's got uh, messed up a bit, but that doesn't matter here. So uh, the last thing we need to do is, again, check our pattern fill and uh, play with the layer mask to take it away from the car since we made it bigger. We can also erase parts of the clouds. Now 
There we go. Now we're going to add some text as the final thing. And for your font, you can download some pretty grungy ones. I like a byte. I'm not sure where I got it, but that doesn't really matter. Make my color red in this case. Um, size. And if your font doesn't have capital letters, like this one, you uh, can just type your letter that you want to be a capital in one individual layer, and then um, make it a bigger size than the rest. Like what I've done here is I've done the C, which is a bigger size font, and then I've done the rest of the word Challenger in a smaller font, so it makes it look bigger like it's a capital. But that is about it. That's how to use some simple techniques in Photoshop to make a grungy wallpaper or advertisement, whatever you want to use this for. And remember, the Unsharp Mask is a really good tool just to play around with on pretty much any image. Usually it makes pretty cool effects like it's done here. So uh, thanks for watching, comment, and rate this video. And if you like my other videos, please subscribe to my channel.